Hey campers, this is Director Tyler and today we are going to be painting with salt. So let's get started. So first, you are going to need um, some paint brushes, any size. Some watercolor paints, you can get these at Target, Michaels, or the dollar store. Then you're going to need some glue, plain old washable school glue. Then we're going to need some table salt that you can find in your parents' cabinets and a piece of paper, preferably cardstock or watercolor paper, and a cup for water. So to get started, we're going to use our washable school glue. Ugh. Make sure that you undo the top, bring it down to the bottom, and we're going to start to draw our picture. We're going to make sure that we're not using too much glue, just pressing hard enough so a thin line of glue comes out of the bottle. We are going to be drawing any picture that you want to do today. Today, I'm going to start off with a flower and a bee. So as you watch, I'm drawing my picture with my glue, taking my time, trying not to make a mess. So you may be wondering, well, Director Tyler, how am I supposed to know what I want to draw? Now you could go to Google or look at a picture that's inside of your house or maybe get some inspiration from your favorite cartoon show. You literally can do whatever you want. We're trying to be as creative as possible here and just have some fun. So we have now finished our picture. I'm just gonna finish this off with a cute little heart because we know bees love flowers and it's time to get our salt. So once you get your salt, um, it's gonna be nice to have a plate nearby. We are going to sprinkle a decent amount of salt onto the page so that we are covering all of the glue. It's gonna be very important that we're sprinkling a generous amount of salt on our paper. Once you cover a certain part, we're going to pour it off into the plate and we're going to continue to sprinkle the salt on the paper until it is complete. So officially I have covered my entire picture with salt. I am shaking off the excess salt of the paper and now I have to make sure that I have a clean workspace. So I am going to put my picture to the side, put my plate to the side. I'm gonna to try to gather some of the extra salt on the table onto my plate so that I don't have that much to clean up once I'm done. Now this is the fun part. I now have my watercolor paints and my two paint brushes and a cup of water. And it's now time to paint my salt. Now with watercolors, remember, they need a lot of water so that we can get the color onto the page. So you always are gonna wanna work with a wet brush, okay? So I'm getting set up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab my paintbrush in the water, dab it into the paint until I get some color on my brush and I'm just going to lightly tap my flower petals until I see the color popping up on the page. This will require me to go back and forth between the paint, the water, the paper and that's okay. There's no rush. We're going to take our time and you can be as creative as you want in this moment. You can use as many colors as you want. And this is your opportunity to express yourself. Now this is our finished product. Isn't it cute? 
I'm gonna show you something else. Now this is a time-lapse video of me drawing a puppy and this is just quickly going through uh, the process of me painting. I'm using some colors. My puppy is a little bit realistic with the colors that I have chosen. Um, but just sit back and watch, enjoy the music. Um, and I can't wait to see all the great stuff that you create. Just remember to tag us at Serendipity Day Camp on Instagram and Facebook. And I can't wait to see all the great things that you create.